But be careful here. Sometimes when we think about compassion, we just think about compassion as an ooey-gooey emotion, like pity, even love or sympathy. It's not. It's even deeper than that. You may know this. The word compassion is the combination of two Latin words, our English word compassion. The word that, that means with and the word passion that means suffering. Compassion is a commitment to suffer with another. When it comes to the way of Jesus, we see pretty clearly even to suffer alongside someone who's suffering as a result of them living outside his convictions. Do you notice that in verses 22 and 24? That's pretty core to our hope. He committed no sin. He himself bore our sins in his body when he was on the cross. That's a compassion that's core to our faith. Jesus was committed to what he was convinced was true and best, the life of conviction, and yet the ministry of Jesus was not to write white papers, not to give TED Talks, not to post social media rants, to apply his convictions to others from a distance. He showed up in person. He showed up in person at the well, in the middle of the heat of the day, when nobody in their right mind would go to draw water. Remember that story in John chapter 4? Because he knew that that place in that moment on location was where he would meet a woman who was suffering the alienation and the shame that came with having lived outside Jesus' conviction for sex and sexuality. He suffered there in the heat with her, even as he showed her a truer, better way. And her convictions changed that day because of his compelling resistance. Remember, even his disciples, when they come back, they're like, what are you doing? You can't talk to somebody like that. But as she walks away, she can't stop talking about him. I'm talking about it in a couple of weeks, not just because he made his convictions clear and convinced her to change hers in the moment, because he held his convictions and his compassion equally high at the same time, in the same place, with the same person. The way of Jesus enters into the life and sometimes into the suffering of a person who's lived outside God's design. It never compromises conviction and it never compromises compassion. It holds both together at the same time. 